So, are house prices about to crash in 2025? Uh, the house prices in the UK seem to have just skyrocketed. Despite high interest rates, they're at an almost all-time high and just keep going higher and higher. Um, or are they? Uh, today, we're gonna dig into the detail, look at the data, and spoiler alert, that famous property bubble might just have burst. We're gonna talk about the, uh, the silent property crash in a bit. Um, and as a landlord, we're gonna to talk to you about how you can potentially take advantage of this situation. Let's get into it. So then, some interesting topics here. Yeah. Quite stats heavy, I like this one. Yeah, yeah it's quite stats heavy. To talk to... about. Um, should we talk about, you know, first of all, before the landlords.com, we're mm -hmm. an agent with the UK's number one property sourcer, et cetera, yep. et cetera. Indeed we are. Yeah, indeed we are. Yep. That's the old script, yeah. Um, so look, if you want to know about buy to hotspots, how we can build your portfolio, manage your property, uh, uh, yeah. portfolio there is a link in the description and yeah. we'll set that right at the book beginning. Book a call me I can tell you how I've sourced and managed more than 500 properties for clients and more and but growing. Now, now really let's get into it. Yeah all right, right then so inflation's role in property prices mm. is really key to this today's topic. Yeah um, so, so normally we one. think about property prices in pounds mm -hmm. okay? so mm -hmm. I just said property prices have skyrocketed. Yep. The actual number is £266,000 is the average, average price, right? Price. Yeah, you can no. see that that number has gone up. But... Yeah, so adjusting for inflation, mm. today's average house price is the same as it was in 2020... Sorry, in 2003. Yeah, not... So I was going to say 20 odd years ago. Yeah, yeah. So, so not what you'd expect at all. So yeah. inflation lifts the price of everything, yeah? Yeah. Um, including houses, and you know, you've also got to... in. Uh, talk about inflation adjusted prices and that's what we're doing today we're going to talk about it and you'll see how everything's relative i always think about it as you know a big skyscraper and you've got two lifts two elevators if you get this right you can jump from one to the other and go back up again right you know, if you get it wrong you've, yeah. you've got to double down you've got snakes and ladders you know, yeah yeah, yeah that's better okay but, um it, it the, the fact that the average house price is two hundred sixty six thousand pounds is not the full story no but just reflation is the same as it was in 2003. yeah so essentially houses are 133 percent cheaper than they were 20 years ago in so real again. terms so yeah again 133 percent cheaper now you wouldn't believe it yeah. exactly yeah. you wouldn't believe it um that's what we call about the, the silent property yeah. crash we're going to talk about why um, how you can take advantage of it, um, but it means that while nominal prices, prices today might be high, the real prices have actually dropped significantly, mm -hmm. and it's an indicator of several things, and as an investor landlord, you need to know what those things are. Indeed. So, um, talk really quickly about regional differences. Well, I was going to say, there's, you yeah, always, always have to take that into account with, yep. with the property market. Um, there's London in the southeast, and there's the rest of the country, pretty yeah, much, right? Lots of people so, who are either are landlords watching this, yeah. want to be landlords watching this, people who are on you know podcasts, YouTube, or wherever you're watching this or listening to it, you'll be thinking invest uh, London centric. Mm. So we've got to point out re regional differences because actually that yeah, because you, you know the wrong way, real term yeah. price increases are up in sixteen percent. Yep. Um, but in the North Yorkshire, inflation just the prices are lower than they were in 2003. So that creates investment opportunities. That's it. So we're going to say that again. Yeah. In the North East and the Midlands, that's where this silent property yeah. crash has yeah, happened. Yeah, 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 exactly. You've got houses that are just far, far too cheap. Yeah. You cannot build the house brand new for yeah, for the price you're paying for it. For, and for, renovate for, for it. For double. For yeah, double yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So we will regularly buy a house for £100,000. You could not build that house for £200,000 no. in that location. Definitely not. That doesn't stack up. And that's where the investment opportunity lies if you are an investor landlord. Um, so yeah, the crash, the silent crash. Yeah, what does it mean? So the COVID-19 boom, the post-COVID-19 boom has quietly unwound itself. Inflation-adjusted property prices have fallen by... 15.6 percent since 2022 mm -hmm. so, so a lot of that that change that we talked about has happened recently yeah that's important so the quality of the silent crash is preferable because it avoids any panic negative equity typical of a louder market crash so it feels like um this might have been managed by you know 
Powers that be? They. 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 There's no such thing as they. No such thing as they. Yeah. Nobody's that organised. No, but definitely not. It's definitely, uh, COVID created a lot of debt. One of the ways to get out of that is to inflate your way out of debt. That was mm. talked about, you know, that was in the mm. news. But this is happening now. This is the effects exactly. of it now. Um, well, let's talk a bit about why the silent crash is good for investment. It's good, yeah, for, go the, good for the country because mm. it's not as dramatic as a crash crash. And, um, but we needed that higher inflation to erase the debt. It's good for investors with leverage, quite a side point almost, but for me personally as a landlord who was already in property 10 years ago, this inflationary period, I've got debt, debt is in eroded by inflation yeah the value of my debt now has effectively gone down even though the pound on the statement exactly. is exactly the same yeah that's been massive i mean it's been yeah. a shift of um balance between savers and investors and it's come my way so if you've got money yeah. in the bank it's, it's, it's come my way in, 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 in unfortunately um yeah you can capitalize on this current market if you understand this dynamic you know position yourself accordingly mm-hmm. um you know, people often worry about headline numbers and don't dig much deeper. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, I would say that all these things lined up um, means that as a, as, a, as, a, as a country, we're lining up at the start line. Mm-hmm. You know, if there's a boom and a bust, well, we've just had a bust without really realizing it. Sure. What comes next? It's the boom. So you're at the start, starting line. Um, we're building to a boom. So a yeah. boom doesn't just announce itself. The time that the boom makes itself known is when it's nearly over. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we're looking totally. for the next five to seven years. Um, it will start slightly further. It won't start in London. Not mm-hmm. now. You're coming from a, mm-hmm. from a low. We're looking at the the, the, the headline numbers. The, 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 the pound, shillings and pence numbers might look good in, num- in London. But this decrease in the value relative to inflation of, 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 of property is most pronounced in the Midlands and the North. Definitely. So the boom will start in your bank account if you invest in the Midlands and North East. If you've got equity in uh, the South, it might be a good time to take it out, do that elevator thing, so you're in the yeah. South, take it out, go to the North. That's, that's the, um, yeah. the, 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 the play. I think that's what smart investors are gonna be doing. Um, investors can capitalize on the current market by understanding the dynamic and positioning themselves. Yeah, exactly. Is my little note that I made yeah. for it, so. There we go. Want to learn more? What's yeah. the next steps? If you can book a call, you can follow the link in the uh, description, wherever you're following this. Uh, book a call with me. I can talk to you how I can grow, optimize your portfolio, and talk to you how we can source more properties for you, especially in those hotspot areas. Yeah. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Hopefully you found this video useful. By digging underneath the numbers, we discovered that the headline number, the things you'll see in the newspaper, aren't the things that are going to make you wealthy and property. Yeah. You need to know a little bit more and dig underneath. So I think there's probably a bit more to talk about, but that's enough for yeah, today. Yeah, I think so. Book the call with Adam, and uh, you can look at real properties in real areas and consider buying those, and maybe we could source them. There we go. All right. Bye for now. Thanks a lot. Cheers. <laughs>